Zing Zang? Ying? Ying Zang. Okay. Come on, just need to persevere. I'll get used to working on the ship soon. Um, excuse me, who are you? Uh, greetings, I'm Ying Zang, one of the workers here at the Dodge. I'm in charge of the short distance transport of small items between uh, Chinsa Village and Chinuville. As you can see, Wonshu Inn is just up ahead. That's where this route ends. But I haven't been able to visit it via boat because I get seasick really. Or easily. I thought the food there is really good though. Can you still be a boatman if you get seasick? Well, I love the feeling of sailing on water, so there's that. I've been fascinated with the ocean since I was young. I could watch large ships in the harbor for hours on end every day. The old men who were at the docks said that it took many sailors a while to get used to the waves and the wind of the ocean. I got this job as soon as I came of age so I could get a head start. And before I knew it, I had been at this for many years. Where is this giant ship? It's really easy to get stranded in the rivers here, so it's no place for large ships. You'll see them in Yellow Wharf and Leeway Harbor, though. The giant ships with metal frames fear no storms and can sail right into huge waves. It's exciting, don't you think? I would have been on one of those and traveling the world right now if it weren't for my seasickness. Oh, dude. Uh, what's so amusing, though? Work, work keeps me motivated. Just think about it. If I work hard and improve, I'll overcome my seasickness eventually. Then I can board a giant ship and become a sailor on long journeys. That's my ultimate goal as dock worker. Yeah, but you will never be able to get on boat if you get seasick. Thank you, youngster. I hope you'll get the experience, the charm of giant ships one day. Well, I, got, I, I definitely had one. Do you know, for example, uh, the Kratz? Captain Beto? No. Kratz fleet? Yeah, I sailed with them. I went to Nezuma. If you're not sure. Alright. Hey, lads and ladies around the world. It's me, Forever Essen here, and we are back for another Genshin Impact video. And this time around, we are doing a follow-up on the videos that you've seen this far regarding Xin Yuvel. And I have, at, for the moment, done 52% of the upper veil, which means uh, I have not touched anything regarding this part of the Jade Mouth and Yellow Wharf, so which is why I'm going to do this today. We're also going to look for disciples of the Guhua clan, and I'm going to bring my boys in show, because it seems that it's quite fitting. Uh, I also, I also uh, decided to do some follow-ups on certain parts of Liwei in order to get some chests, some miscellanies, some miscellaneous items that, uh, or miscellaneous items that. I haven't been able to check, but it's coming together uh, so far. So yeah, I'm going to do this right now, and we'll see how that goes. But I have to say one thing, Chowin Village and the music there, that's a place that, to me, is endearing because of the environment, the atmosphere, and how the tea seems to be processed. Uh, they are really emphasizing the idea of how they are making the, the tea leaves and how it is a uh, certain temperature, um, a certain certain steps in the, in the process of uh, making tea. And yeah, this is quite amazing and I cannot express enough how satisfy I am with uh, how Hoyoverse and the development team was able to procure us something of this quality. Uh, truly it's it's marvelous and I'm not even done yet due to the fact that I still have some other parts that I need to check. 
uh, and yeah, some other plots that I need to check over here. And so yeah, this is going to be amazing. I'm quite excited, and I can't wait to see where the next step of this journey takes us. So yeah, uh, on the side of YouTube, if you haven't done so already, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also hit that subscribe button like you've never hit a subscribe button in your life. Also share with your entrance and with your neighbors, with your wife, with your husband, with your friends, with your family, with your, with your fellow students. So like this. <laughs> This uh, community will get even further beyond when it comes to reaching yeah, a wider audience. But yeah, uh, also uh, please come along, follow me at twitch.tv forward slash foreverism where I do most of my uh, Twitch streamings uh, for Genshin Impact and other gaming, video games content related. And I might branch out also to some um, reactions to anime and lore reading sessions because uh, as for as when it comes to Genshin Impact, I'm more uh, imp I'm interested about the lore, but yeah, more interested about the lore. I'm not quite interested when it comes to getting, doing big gap, big damage. Sure. It is quite satisfying, but I just want to go through the content and enjoy my ride along. But yeah, uh, also follow me on the socials, Twitter, Instagram, and all that jazz, as usual. And since I'm doing some, soon I'm doing some reactions to uh, animes and all that stuff, then these will obviously be up, uh, uploaded to my Patreon page, so if you want to be a part of the Forever Exclusives and be part of the family as a whole, then you know what to do. Head over there and show your support. And is there anything else? I think that there's also something else that I have to add. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but 2.0 for Honkai Star Rail is happening on Tuesday and I'll be doing a live stream dedicated to that I mean on this day specifically so if you haven't followed me yet on Twitch then you'll be missing out I'm afraid or you'll not be messing out m missing out but you'll get it later than usual because uh, when I will stream this, I will not be able to stream on my monitor, so I'll have to use my my mobile phone in order to actually um, this get this thing going. So yeah, uh, with that out of the way, I hope you are as hyped as I am, and I can't wait to discover even more interesting facts and lore regarding Chinuvel. If you are excited as I am, then you can't wait, and I know you don't. So, let's get going. Alright, uh, first let's talk to Hunfan. Two boxes of tea leaves and a bunch of crates of jade items and other miscellaneous goods. Business is booming lately. Uh, are you a merchant? You gotta be joking. I'm just a lowly laborer, gifting goods who moonlights as a guard now and then. Business and all that's way too complicated for me. <sighs> I'd rather work my body than work my brain. Okay, so hired guards can, can be part-timers. <coughs> well, since I'm new to the biz, and I taught myself martial arts, I don't get a whole lot of commissions. Not like those pros from the Sword and Strongbot Secure Transport Agency. So I'm just doing simple transport work for now. 
Gonna save up some cash for maybe a few years. Once I've got enough more in the bank, I'm gonna sign up for classes and study martial arts seriously. Get myself three fists of fury and killer Kung Fu kicks. And then I'll go pro and school for the best. I won't even have to fear getting eaten by Zhuowen beasts. Zhuowen beasts. Beasts. Are Zhuowen beasts that scary? I've seen them with my own eyes. You may be a tough young hero, but don't get touchy. The things are practically invulnerable. I beg to differ. I've seen my betters using real deal iron points against one. They were ruthlessly trying to stitch it, but it looked like it was enjoying being tickled. <laughs> tickled? <by> <laughs> wow. Well, uh, if it were me, I wouldn't last half a second before I ended up as a Zhuang snack. If you weren't into one of those terrible monsters, I'd recommend just taking a detour. You know what? No. No. See you later. See you. Come talk to me again after I finish moving the tea leaves. Yeah, will do. Alright. There are treasure hoarders here too. Well, uh. Whoa, and they're raising that Sumter beast. So that Sumter beast is helping us! Illusion Shatter! The beast sent the beast, seems. When Hua Yoon, my Yoon, I've come to take you home. Yoon? It's my precious, my baby Yoon Yoon, stolen by these treasure holders. I've been a merchant for many years, and all my savings went to my three precious Sumter beasts. Chili. It is the most obedient and has always stayed with me. Shue, the most mischief mischievous, ran off with a long time ago. If even Yun should leave me, uh, that would be tragedy unbearable. Thank you, good folk. Truly. You must have suffered, haven't you? I brought you your favorite Julian chilies. Come, come, have some. Mm -hmm. You're not eating them anymore, Yun. Have you learned the wrong lessons while you've been out and about? Come on, eat. Uh, do Santa beasts even eat Jiyu chilies? That's what I've been feeding you in this whole time. Surely I know what it likes. You're a disgrace, old man. Don't you know that Sumter beasts like eating fruit? Unless they're practically starving, they won't eat Julian chilies. That stuff's bad for their health. Huh? And who in the world are you? A wild treasure holder beard. Huh? And here Paimon thought that might be someone actually important. Well, either way, Yun's back with us, so let's head back. Hey, don't you ignore me. <laughs> Alright, you thief. 
You, your comrades have all been brought to justice. But still, you dare to say this and have that about my precious... Say, I'll give you say. Jane say, Sue say, hear say, a say, nay say. Uh, uh, where is this coming from? Uh, say, aunt say. Uh, all right, all right, you, all right, Wen Hua, uh, Wen Hua, you can stop now. That's right, you two come down. Let's hear them out and decide what to do later. Tch, a crutch, he says. Your sumter beast ran to us, ran to us of its own accord. The rest locked it up, but I've been taking care of it this whole time. Two shins the name. Yes, meaning local born, because that's exactly what I am. That's what a lot that's not what a local born would say. As for why I, I know this and that about some to beasts some to beasts I have trouble with that word. That's because they used to work for a caravan Simaru. I changed the treasure hoarders because they offered better pay. <sighs> Didn't think things would get this dangerous. Anyway, you're some to beasts. It ate all the berries I spent three days picking. It must have been starving. Huh? So it was hungry? That's what it's plain when it ran off. What nonsense. This crude lies. This crude lies. Isn't Shelly by my side still? Wait, and didn't you, you have another Sumter Beast up and leave you on? Joey? Do you mean Joey left because it was hungry? Impossible. Impossible. And why would it be impossible? Even people ate hate places where there is enough to eat. Anyway, Yunyun over here has been living good this past few days, so don't feel it anything weird from now on, alright? You chat purse treating sterile slanderer. Well then, if you say yun has been living well, why don't we have a showdown between it and Chili then? Huh? A competition? How exactly? We'll take them out on the watch and see which one is in higher spirits. If Chili has a brilliant step, that's how we'll, we'll know that this person's been putting you you through the ringer. We saw you and Braid through the fence earlier. It sure looked pretty lively then. Must have eaten pretty well, right? Well, someone's being unnecessarily competitive. <laughs> Who's afraid of you anyway? Fine. Don't you dare leave. Come to my camp. That's where Chili is. We'll have it out there. Go back to when it was camp. Okay, and not expect to. So, is that. Was this the quest that I had to do? Maybe not. Maybe it was. I don't know. But, uh. Interesting. I just. I got the chest a little bit, and, and apparently I have to go to. to his camp. to witness, uh. the competition between, uh. Two lads over some to beasts, it seems. Take them. I have no need. Let's read this journal with poor penmanship. Uh, so exhausted. Seriously, why am I carrying the sand on my shoulders instead of putting it on the cart? What sort of mora are we making anyway? Uh, need to get some help with this manual labor. That rascal Tusheng. Who the heck told him in? He's greedy, none too bright, and terrible at work. Here I was here I was, looking for some helping hands, and you toss me a walking resource sink, huh? Just watch it. I'll remember this. Seriously? Who brought this Sumter Beast here? It eats the share of three people, and then some. Between you idiots, that Tusheng and the Sumter Beast, we might as well discard our old name and call ourselves the Feeling True, the Feeling Trough Jane instead. <sighs> Guess this Tushin isn't useless after all. 
He seems to know a thing or three about raising the sub to beast. Oh, I'm a fool. And who knows? Maybe we could put it to good use when moving goods about. A stroke of good fortune if I've ever seen one. Ha! <laughs> Climbing up to high branches should be an, is an issue with this ladder. Maybe I should look into swiping a chair too. Okay. Uh, where? Guess I'll I guess I'll finish this quest and while I'm at it. Might as well. Uh, one shot walk to remember. Oh yeah, so a one shot walk to remember is um, the Guhua clan quest. I accidentally triggered it because I didn't know that it was supposed to be tailored to uh, the Guhua clan, but at least I didn't go any further than that, so still in, in the inception of the of this quest. Uh, Chili, <laughs> Chili, Chili Tron Cloudy, yeah, Chili Tron Tron, yeah. You encounter an anxious merchant in a chair belt in the wild. Yeah, okay. So it's supposed to be tailored to this quest. Seems like it actually. So let's have a look. Chili's doing great, and on the other hand, Yun's doing so poorly it breaks my heart. Are you sure your eyes are working right, old man? Isn't it the other way around? Uh, you know, I don't really tell either way. They just look pretty similar. Maybe we'll need them to walk around a bit to tell. Please, can the two of you be our referees? I'm sure you'll be impartial. And what are the rules exactly? We'll see. Ju just see how, who gets to the finish line first, Yoon or Chili. I'll have my assistant wait at the finish line. We can go over there now, Mingli. Yes, boss. Old man, don't you think you're too tough on the central beasts? Especially that chili of yours, it looks super hungry. <laughs> Scared young one, making excuses, are we? What slander? I'm only being considerate. Fine, it's complete. Let's compete, sorry. <laughs> I ain't afraid of you, none. Huh, let's begin then. I'm about to teach you a good lesson. Boss, we can start now. Okay, begin. Alright, be the referee. Watch Yun Yun and Chili Peppers competition. Oh, two some of the beasts have started moving. Just watch Chili will be ahead of Yun just a Best hope so, old man. Huh? Yun Yun stopped. See? What did I say? Uh you say that, but Chili Peppers stopped too. Huh? You must both be hungry. Check on chili pepper. Chili, why aren't you moving either? Do you want some June chilies? Trump, Trump, I've got lots of them here. You can eat all you want today. That way you'll have the energy to compete. Chili pepper seems to know what one has been bringing and doesn't even look at it. This. What's going on? Why aren't you eating anymore? Uh, check on Union. Hey now, come on. Didn't you just eat? Are you hungry already? <sighs> what am I supposed to do with you? Well, we're fresh out of berries. We've still, still got some sunsettias. Here, I suppose you'll enjoy these too. 
Genshin retrieves the parts and sedias and places them on the ground. Yun Yun starts to eat. Look, chili peppers joining in too. As if one's in on those sensetias, huh? Chili? Not you too. See? I told you so. You're the only one who's in a mood with the idea of them lighting June chilies. How could this be? Whatever. There's nothing to be said, people like you. Didn't the beat once with the uneasy in the field. Ah, oh, forget it. I get it. There's no need for competition now. I know I've lost. Huh? Perhaps I was too overconfident. But I'm not so bullheaded old fogey. You win, youngster. It's like you and Chili have grown up. If you don't wish to eat Chili and Chili's any longer, then I'll let them be. I'm with this they never did in the first place. Hmm. You know what, old man? You've surprised me. Guess you're pretty alright, learning from your errors and all. Youngster, should I ask you a question? How are you so familiar with some to beast habits? Didn't I say that before that it came from Samara? Well, I uh, just like little critters. And some to beasts are pretty cute when they yawn. My family wasn't well to do though, so I couldn't afford to have one. And that's how and that's how you changed to steal you and together with the treasure hoarders? Hey! I told you, this one came to us. I stole nothing. Our uh, superior said that it was just as well that we had the Sumter Beast since we got a big deal uh, going recently. Well, it would have to transport some large goods. And that's how we came to chip it at our camp. Hm. Even so, taking it to, for yourself, that's just not right. Well, how were we supposed to know that someone would be raising Sumter Beasts out here in the boonies? If we knew we'd end up facing off with this tougher customer, we'd have returned it to you right away. So you wouldn't have returned it so easily had it not been for us, I take it. I see, I see. Well, it's not too late to make up for past mistakes. Well, youngster, ever consider what switching careers to work in a caravan? What? I'm not sure I'll have square meals with you. Square meals with you. Square meals? You? <laughs> you want to eat your fuel, do you? <laughs> huh? Look, everyone here can attest to you being a treasure hoarder, a member of a criminal organization. A single document submitted by me to the Mill of Captains, and you'll be eating your fill in a prison cell. But see, I am a kind soul. Not only am I erasing any record of your guilt, but I'm going to offer you a job, food, and board. What do you say? And um, how much will I make? Ah. Wages. Wages. Well, you can ask Mulliff about that. W wait Please don't. <sighs> eh. You can just decide my paycheck for yourself, alright? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm wow, a tough businessman. Well, in any case, you've impressed me with your abilities. In future, my future sumter beasts shall be in your chair. I guarantee that not only will you be able to fill your stomach, but that your talents will see ample use indeed. Wow, uh, this is the first time Paimon's ever seen someone taking advantage of a treasure hoarder this much. Oh, oh, I suppose you could call this a way of life, out of this life, yeah. You think so too? Well, to be honest, I quite like the idea of spending time with the center beasts. Let me give it some thought. I'll let you know once I've thought it through. I'll believe you made the right decision, young man. I need to find someone to keep an eye on him. Good, good. Anyway, my good fellows, thank you for helping me reclaim my precious youth, and bring it to my attention that they do not like Jane Chilies. <sighs> Sorry for the trouble, truly. 
So please, paint this as a token of my appreciation. It would be a shame if fine young folks such as yourselves do not eat as they pleased every day. Swift acceptance, Shelly John Cloudy. Interesting uh, competition. Just to find out that uh, some to the beasts like sunsettias and berries more, and apparently hate June chilies. And uh, apparently, a treasure hoarder is having a change in his life and becoming. Wardrobe for someone else, albeit without via extreme measures, but a wardrobe nonetheless. So, I guess, I mean, you still have to, you still has to thought it through, but. But, uh. Now the old man said, I, I hope that they'll, they'll make, he'll make the right decision. Oh, is that, is that a. Is that a follow up to the quest? Let's go with some fruit today. Um, no. Even in that, we should have variety. Yes, what's on the menu today? Today it's... Oh, it's you! I thought it was that old Foddy. Uh, you mean the one that is right next to you? Seriously, what's his problem? Shouting all the time at his age. I four years. Well, anyway. Uh, I prepared some sunsetia and berry slices mixed in a sweet flower juice, um, along with some minced berries and mints. Wow, you're making me hungry already. That won't come cheap, you know. Cheap, you know. The ingredients I use are all fresh as can be. That old forty's a miser and wouldn't listen to anyone to save his life, but he's generous enough when he comes to the sons of beasts. Not that this would ever lead to me getting raised, though. So I, th I think he did the job. Okay, and what about the winner? Part? That tuition kid's pretty quick on the uptake. Uh, how's things with your center beasts? Well, very well. Chili and Yoon have both put on quite some weight, and they're much stronger now. Don't tell me, don't tell him this, but Tushan's pretty good. His Sumter Beast feeds quite popular with them both. He's quite a hard working one too. Works from early to late preparing the feed, and he doesn't miss a beat. He's different than from those other treasure holders, I'll tell you that. But seriously, why did he join me them why did he join them for? With a pair of hands as diligent as his, I suppose that's bad company for you. In which case, I suppose that makes it my duty to steer him back up onto the right path. Seems like you two are getting along better nowadays. Me? And that too, Ha ha You sure are funny. Look, I'm just an old fellow giving him food. Board and a salary out of the goodness of my heart. And he's turned out quite good as, at toughing his job out. In short, it's a boss employee relationship, alright? Just that. Now I know there's more to it. I know that uh, you've taken, taken quite a liking to this guy, this old this fellow. Um where is where's Minley? Oh him? I don't I don't to buy some pastries while I was del delivering my goods. So I was going to a roadside pavilion to wait for me. He Oh drat. I forgot all about him. Tushan, Tushan, quickly. Go get that fellow. He's probably still in the pavilion. Wow, you even forgot about Min Ling? Min Lee? Ah <sighs> see you later, I suppose. Stay safe. Well, I've got to take care of Chili and you. I mean, you don't have to take care of Chili and Yoon. He has to take care of Chili and Yoon. <sighs> alright, alright. And they're the right over there as well. I'll go say hello to them, just for good measure. Oh, just because, uh, 
told me to crush. <coughs> I'm sorry, then I'll take all your berries. You won't mind, do you? Hey, Chili Pepper. What a nice name. Moo to you, too. Pat Pats. Chili Pepper lowers its head obediently. It seems to enjoy this. Hugs. Chili Pepper hums in a low voice. It seems to really enjoy your hugs. Okay. Um, see you, Chili Pepper. Chili Pepper blinks and watches as you depart. Watch as I go. Union? Moo to you too. Rub rubs them. Union sticks out its, its tongue without comprehension and lets you rub its, che its cheek <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, inches. Union tilts its head doubtfully, but goes along with you anyway. See you later, Union. Union lazily swings and stomps its feet. I suppose this can be considered a farewell. Alright, what was the achievement that I got from that? Wonders of the world. Swift acceptance. You've learned quite a bit about raising sumter beasts. Yes, I did. But is this really useful? Doubtful. But hey, who knows? We'll see, uh, definitely in the future. If this skills as a Sumter Beast Master will prove useful. But for now, I guess uh, we have to go on to better things. <laughs>